So today we're going to check the um, XYZ switch uh, on an auto, uh, which does the uh, gear selection and sends the signal to the uh, ECU unit. And um, first thing to do is to get the battery terminal off. There we go, that's off. Next thing to do is to get the self is to get the jack out. Oh, I draw the jack. Give them all room. And then the self tapping screw, which keeps the ECU in. It's very windy today. 80 mile an hour wind, so not sure what the sound quality is going to be like. Pays to have one of these magnetic trays for these small metal bits. They stick to it, you don't lose them then. And you can also stick that onto, onto uh, anything metal. Get that out of the way. That should come out now. Hopefully. We just tease these wires out here. We're going to look for oil in the red plug in the ECU. I've not had this out before, so... Not how it... Get the hold of it, is it? There it comes. Uh, that's going to have to come off that. That's trapped all the wires. Okay. So there's also uh, an earthing nut which is going to have to come off. You'll see it as I'm doing it. So that's the top of the engine. Uh, uh, earth from the battery, there's the nut, and let's check see if there's any washers, no, no washers, so that lifts up, that's, that's going to give us, oh that's better, right, so, here's the ECU, let's just see if we can get that, Yep, that's nice and clear. Right, so I'm going to check to see if there's any oil. I don't know if I need to actually pull that off. A little plunger here, there, which you press in like that it just cantilevers that up and that's going to pull that whole plug off let's have a look there we go so no oil that's nice and clean which I wanted to see so I know that there's no oil coming down the injector harness so what we've done is we've checked inside here uh, inside the ECU red plug and we've checked the wiring harness, the red plug because if you have oil coming down through the injector harness um, it will all come out here and you'll see it in here and it'll short this out and it'll give the problems um, that are associated with the XYZ gear selector switch on the auto gearboxes. So that's fine, so we're going to put that back in again now. So uh, we're happy with that. So that just goes straight back in, and you have to press this button to get it back in, like that, that's it. Yep, that's in securely. That then slides, slides in with the red one at the bottom, like that. Then the little plug goes down the side, that all goes that neatly. nut on the earth strap from the battery just have to pull that wire back to get it in there we go that nuts on that's a 10 see what it is 
Yeah, I'm using a 10mm ring spanner on that. For those of you who want to know the size, it's 10. That's ideal. That's the earth um, from the battery, which is the minus, the black one. So that's on. Uh, next thing self tapping screw. You can see how quick this check is to do yourself. Um, another check for the XYZ switch is to put the windscreen washers on with the engine running on the front, put the windscreen wipers on rather, and then put it into reverse and see if the windscreen wiper comes on on the rear window, because it should do, and that means that the circuit is working then. It means that the signal uh, from the XYZ switch is getting through um, to the rear wiper and switching it on, which I've done, and it is working, so it has come on. Okay, don't over tighten that. That's it. I want you to strip it out. That's nice and tight. It's only the one screw. And then last of all, just checking that's all in. Yeah, it's nice and tight. Yeah, make sure nothing's going to chafe. Battery terminal. Push that on. Yeah, that's nice and tight. And for those of you who want to know, that is a 13mm ring spanner for the battery. Don't over tighten it. Just nip it up, then give it a little move just to check that it's alright. Job done. Okay, so you can see how quick that was. A um, lot, lot more to say, really. That's, that's, that's the check to see if there's oil in the injector harness coming down into the ECU if you've got problems with your XYZ switch. So, next thing I'm going to do is get underneath and trace the wiring from the XYZ gear selector unit. Trace it back just to see if it's chafing on the top of the gearbox, on the Audi casting. But I'm quite satisfied that there's no shorting in the ECU and that the signal can get through. Uh, next thing I'm going to check is the BCU, body control unit, which is located under the drive, uh, the passenger seat at the front. Okay, that's it.